Abram Ross, congratulations oh. on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, it's an honor. Thank you. Yeah, it's well deserved. Uh, you've been involved in wrestling for pretty much your whole life. I, yeah, 38 I mean, years, they say, and I'm yeah. only 39. How is that? <laughs> is that something? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's getting an early start. I'm not 39. <laughs> who, who it was, sounds good, though. <laughs> it does. It does. Who was the individual that had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? I would say my parents. I wouldn't say it as an individual. It was both my parents. They made a lot of sacrifices for me and put me in a position I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, how soon did they get you started in wrestling? Well, it wasn't them that got me in started. Mm -hmm. It was me uh, pretty much being a background, backyard wrestler, right? Uh -huh. I mean, watching WWF or whatnot and right. just doing all that crazy stuff. And um, I had a coach, Bruce Shelton, who lived across mm -hmm. the street from yep. me. And he's like, hey, why don't you go and do some real wrestling? And I always thought I was doing real wrestling. So <laughs> that's what happened. He showed you the difference. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Leave it to Bruce. Uh, who is a wrestling individual that would be an idol to you growing up? Or did you have any of those? Well, growing up is, uh, is weird because it was Marco Sanchez. He was mm -hmm. the... Like I said, I was doing background wrestling and uh, backyard wrestling, and he was the first person I seen. First tournament I ever went to was a high school state tournament here in San Jose, 1986, and Independence High School. Independence yeah. High School, yeah. I was just fell in, just followed Marco Sanchez. Yeah, it's a good role model, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, which personal attribute uh, do you think has contributed most to your success in wrestling? I'd have to say my, just my, I never got overexcited about anything. Mm -hmm. I just had a calm demeanor. It just, everything was always going to be okay. That's the attitude I went in with, and I still have that attitude today. So it's just, just a calm demeanor. Just makes a big difference. I believe so. Especially I just never, when the lights never, are on. never really panicked is yep. what it was. Yeah, that's a, a great attribute. Uh, what was your most outstanding memory you had from your career in the sport of wrestling? My memory was probably the first year I went to the Cadet Nationals as a kid. Um, took second, I mean, but it was the first time I got on an airplane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just, yeah, it was just, just one of those things that stood out. Yeah, that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. And Cadet Nationals is always a fun thing anyway. It was fun. Had you faced uh, others in national competition yet, or was that your first time? Uh, no, that was my first national tournament. I ended up taking second. Yeah, which is so, outstanding. Yeah. Is there a, uh, a single match that stands out in your mind as the not, thing that you're most proud of? Or? No, not really. I mean, I, I really couldn't even answer that question. I mean, there was a lot of matches that I had, you know, and none of them really, like, was, like, at the top of anything. I mean, I would just say, like, probably, like, the first time I won a cadet national title. I took second the year before mm -hmm. and came back and won it the year after. So I would probably say that was probably the standout match. Yeah, um, be a big deal. I got lucky and got a fall out of it. So, yeah, I mean. That, that's pretty amazing. What made you get involved in wrestling? Was it watching the WWE? It and was that just type watching WWE and just trying to stay out of trouble and get myself into something that I was enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I love to compete, you know. So that was wrestling gave me an avenue to compete. And a high school, a junior high buddy said, "Hey, let's go wrestle." And I was like, "Well, okay, I'll join." Mm -hmm. That got me into wrestling. I've been in it ever since. It's great and. Uh your high school coach, Bruce, is probably a, just a great mentor for you as well. Yeah, Bruce and, and Joe Nigos, yeah, they yep. were great mentors for me. Yeah. If you had the opportunity uh, to start your career over, is there anything that you'd change? No, I wouldn't, because then it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. If you change something, it has a different consequence. I mean, you go down a different avenue. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there was some pitfalls and there was some great great moments, but like I said, I wouldn't change anything. 
you know, those great moments, even if they're tragic, can be great teachable moments. So uh, I mean, absolutely. I you mean, you got you got to fail to to succeed. Yep, you sure do. Right. So. Yep. What would you like people to remember about you, Abram? Just a nice person. Nice person, great along, great to get along with. Um, like I said, I have a calm demeanor. I get along with everybody. Mm. Um, just a competitor, great athlete, great friend, great husband, great dad. Well, I think you're, everybody's going to remember all of those things for you. And that's all I want to be remembered yeah. by. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations on being inducted Thank into you. the Wrestling Hall of Fame. I appreciate it. It's an honor. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. You're welcome.